We've got more with Global Game Jam Week 2015. I am Woody. I'm Kelson. And today we are talking about Tokyo 1923 by a bunch of people. Yes. Um, there's no team for this or anything. There's no named thing. Um, just go to the page and see the people who made this. Proper credentials there. The game, as the description states, is based off of Akira Kurosawa's experience with an earthquake in Japan mm -hmm. in 1923. As a young lad from his autobiography, Akira Kurosawa, the, one of the greatest filmmakers of all yes. time, Seven Samurai, Guy Yojimbo, I Yojimbo, Ikiru, wonderful. Rashomon. Yes. He did a lot of good stuff. He did a lot of good stuff. Check him out, guys. Mm -hmm. We both are media yeah. studies guys, if you didn't notice. Yeah, you should watch Akira Kurosawa. But want to just launch into Akira Kurosawa? Yeah, no, actually, I, I kind of would rather just talk about Seven Samurai than <laughs> this game. Not to be... Not to, yeah, not well, to, okay, 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 segue, segue. No offense, guys, who made Tokyo 1923. I think Seven Samurai is a greater cultural a piece film. of art. Yeah. Than Tokyo Indeed. 1923. Indeed. That is not to denigrate It's like Tokyo. an aperitif. It just puts it in your mind. You it's know. not to denigrate Tokyo 1923. No! Because no, no, Tokyo no, no. 1923 is actually pretty good. It is. It is a platformer. You have two characters, and you switch yeah. between them. They each have different abilities. And you have to go around this sort of blasted hellscape right. post-earthquake and pick up the pieces. There are people you need to assist. One woman needs water. Mm -hmm. uh, this other woman lost her son. One guy thinks he's a bad father. Right. And you need to help each of them. Yes. So essentially it becomes sort of this this uh, find, puzzly finding yeah. finding the things to help the folks yeah. who are in the, as you said, desolate wasteland that has become <laughs> Japan. And, you know, pros for sure. Uh, the... Look of the game is just really Yeah, great. it looks great. It has a really nice, um, the background, it's like a multi-layered background. All the individual sprites look really good, but that background is definitely the thing. Yeah. That it, I think works really well. It does, yeah. The character models themselves, the pixel art is fine, but yeah, the, the, back, the, the just the overall um, scape, scope of the game is, yeah. is really nice. Um, I was also surprised that you can switch between the two characters. Yeah. That was like a fun, that was a nice little mechanic. You know, and, and all the, they, they have animations, like when you went out, when you go underwater, there's like a little animation and yeah. like appropriate, like they, they handled Nice the, little touches that you typically don't see in game games. Yeah, like, um, 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 polishing. That, yeah. You know, it has polish, I guess is what I'm looking for. Um, and, and I was surprised by that, considering 48 hours. Um, yes. And, uh, you know, the music's pretty good, you know, overall, it's just, it's a solid little platformer. Yeah. You know, it's kind of like... <laughs> games like this we've encountered where because it's such a dark like it's not it's like it's hard to say it's fun in the, yeah. in the sense of like because it's so sad yeah we're kind of conditioned to think oh fun is good so if a game is fun it's good and if a game isn't fun it's bad this is the kind of game where this is a pretty like this is a dark game yes it's not necessarily fun yeah but it's good. Exactly. It, it succeeds in that way but we didn't walk away we played most of these ga games together and we're talking as we went and this one sort of it did it was absorbing and interesting to see okay how do you make a game out of this is interesting but it didn't make me feel super excited yeah but that's you know it's kind that, of the point that's kind of the point exactly so you have to you have to give them you credit. can't have a chippy adventure <laughs> no you really can't you know it's not like there's any you know how oh, about all these dead guys right exactly so I would say I recommend as yeah. far as as far as this you know if you're if you're into playing game jam games and curious the global game jam is <laughs> intriguing to you I would say this is definitely one of the stronger yeah games yeah I checked this one out it's a little funky to play um there's like some hard stuff you got to get used to but it's overall yeah it's pretty good 